really nice. Okay, so this is a... Uh, uh, It's uh, 9.55 p.m. The best time and the most I appreciate. Why? Because previously when I, I'm... This is the, the, the time where you wanted to be home as quick as you can, okay? Uh, going to office in the morning, going to office uh, mid, mid of the day. Sometimes, you know, you take time unless of course you're rushing to get any, you know, to, to a meeting, then yes, everything is rushed. But is that cases like this then definitely you just wanted to be home as quick as you can because you don't want to wait so much time in traffic it's it's just it's just more exhausting after a whole day of working right so this is the best time and in, in, in motorcycling on a regular basis yes i'm in the i'm home after Maybe another 45 minutes to an hour. But this time, you know, when I'm using the scooter, aside from you see the pleasure of you getting getting away with the traffic problem. Okay. Because actually there's a satisfaction in it. I mean if you see cars getting stuck in traffic then the more you appreciate riding okay and of course when you arrive in your destination at home with your family with your wife then that's the you know that's that's when you would uh, really realize that yes i've saved a lot of trash from you know in the street and having those problems What the? Okay, so those are the benefits that you're gonna get from riding a scooter in the city. Yes, during morning when uh, you tend to go to the office, yes, uh, sometimes you feel so bad about you know the the hot weather, you know, and all those you're getting sweaty when you arrive at in the office but then again at the end of the day when you arrive home you still feel that everything is worth it right the the savings that you get from all you know from from the financial aspect of it to the time you're saving to to lend those time uh, to your family instead of like wasting it in the street it's all worth it it's a matter of uh, compromising you know the comfort and uh, uh, you being sweaty uh, in, in going to to office but definitely there's so much uh, you know you can do about it you can always uh, adapt to the situation and yeah it, it, it will be on um, you know it will be an easy task to uh mitigate those uh problem that you, you can think of like uh, being sweating in the, in the office and all so if you see if you're following my vlog you will definitely know what i'm saying that you know there there are, are times where you know when you go to office you prepare yourself uh, with all the gear safety gears it may be hot in your body but then again you know you make sure you you have a backup uh, shirt and uh you know towel to clean you up then 
yeah, it's just a matter of uh, spending another maybe five, ten minutes in the in the toilet to clean up yourself and prepare yourself to to face all your clients, right? So it's not a bad thing. It, it's something that is really for me acceptable. Just a matter of getting used to. Uh, you'll definitely adopt uh, accordingly to you know to the situation. I mean that's it. What, what we should be doing right and so as i was explaining there's always uh you know different methods and uh mitigation to prepare yourself uh, in a situation where you know you just came out you just you know uh use the motorcycle and yet you're in the office how how can you like be smell fresher and all right so there's always way to do it there's always a uh, ways to to make sure you don't smell uh, so bad right and in fact like for me you know um, for the longest time I mean no one knows uh, no one still knows that I'm using motorcycle as of this time okay I've been like using the motorcycle for like more than more than uh, six months and in the office no one actually noticed that I'm, I'm still uh, I, you know, I, I came in sweaty with, with my hair not uh, arranged, all those. So, it, it's, it's, a, it's a testament that you can still manage to make yourself presentable and not, not uh, being obviously under, you know, or using a motorcycle or it came from a, a worse traffic in the metro, right? Well, this is a common route that I take so I know exactly how the traffic behaves so if you do that like almost every day or you, you'll definitely know how the, the traffic flows and uh, yes uh, sometimes it's uh, you know when, when it's your first time definitely it's very intimidating but as soon as you get how the whole traffic flows then you'll get an idea where to go you'll get an idea where's the congestion or all the congestion and uh, for a motorcycle definitely you'll know where exactly it can fit or where not to uh, to, to put yourself in because you're gonna get caught with all those uh, heavy trucks so it, it, that is important and uh, you know my only recommendation or suggestion to the new riders out there just follow the path okay the, the more motorcycles out there the, the better because it's a combination of uh, you know a decision overall decision of all the motorcycle riders right yeah it's a no I don't know he's not an old guy doesn't look like a DOM to me but unfortunately he's all alone too bad he's uh he got the, the convertible car I mean, without anyone beside him too bad for him maybe he really needs one yeah. <laughs> no just kidding i'm just making fun of uh, of the guy right got nothing against him he looks uh he looks fine he looks i don't know yeah i can just imagine myself if i got one definitely i got if you're gonna uncover yourself to the public then then of course it's it's better to show off someone beside you that is uh is showing that you're much better than anyone else right now just kidding guys okay so this is uh, uh oh, almost almost man almost I don't know if you see that but at least they didn't hit each other good thing no cars behind them get caught 
okay so i'm almost um i'm almost here okay so once again thank you for joining me uh don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell button on the uh subscriber option to make sure you get notified with all the videos that i'm uploading typically of course uh, i i upload or publish uh, videos two times a week but as much as i can i mean if i can do it like three times then i do it with uh, you know whatever extra videos or uh, topic or content that i can make up then yeah i share it to the i share it to i publish it all right so thank you for uh, supporting me on this uh you know uh, content uh, creation of mine so hopefully i can create more soon and for now goodbye and as always be safe on the road and always have fun bye for now